Sometimes people come into your life for a moment, a day or a lifetime. It matters not the time they spent with you, but how they impacted your life in that time. Hey guys, thanks for joining me this week. I'm excited to talk to you guys about seasons. So, you know, I wanted to talk about this quote for a few reasons. Um, you know, I've had people that um, I've in the student housing sector, I've been able to uh, create a huge family or connection or community, if you will, of people that are circled around me. And it's been such a rewarding career because you know, I feel like I have 400 and something kids out there in the world because of all the college kids that have been a part of my life. And, you know, during that, I still follow them. They follow me on socials. Um, we've lost a few, even one here recently. And that's hard, you know, because they had such bright futures. And there's a variety of reasons why the few that we've lost are no longer with us. And, you know, that just causes me to reflect when things like that happen. And so, you know, this episode is kind of about that. And, you know, I lost my stepmom back in October and that was really challenging. I'm excited to go to Debbie's memorial in May because, you know, I didn't get to go when she passed um, due to work and life and my kids and everything else. And so, you know, that's, that's another person that was a season in my life that contributed quite greatly to who I am today. And, you know, as well as others that have been in my life, whether it be in my business or, you know, during my time in corporate America, where I've worked with people and we had such an impact on each other and created that community that created growth. And so, you know, I used to get really bummed and really sad and really frustrated about, you know, if somebody were to leave, um, to go work elsewhere and not be on my team anymore, that was kind of like disheartening a little bit for me. And I remember it, it made me reflect to as a little girl, I would cry. My parents divorced when I was like three two or three. And so every summer, my mom always lived out here on the east, um, southeast, and my dad lives on the west coast. And so every summer I would get as a little girl from the age of five and up, I would get on a plane and I would fly out to my dad's for the summer. And it was always super fun and a super awesome trip and journey. Um, but I would cry so much as a little girl when I would leave my mom. And then when I would go, the summer would be over and it was time for me to leave, to go back to my mom's for my dad's, I would cried leaving my dad. And so goodbyes have always been a really hard thing for me personally. And so has death. Um, you know, and it's not until I've gotten older, I'll be 51 in June that I'm like, okay, you know, it's the circle of life and it's just part of what has to happen. And, you know, I think that 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 quote just resonated with me due to all that we've all been through. Um, it resonated with me because, you know, there's been people on my team that have departed and I had to really put things into perspective and think about, you know, people coming and going into your life and the impacts they have on you. And sometimes those are good impacts. Sometimes they're bad impacts. I call them lessons nonetheless. Because, you know, when people come and they're here for a season, it's to teach you something or for you to teach them something or an exchange of that. And, you know, they can leave great impacts in that, you know, not everything's forever. And um, so I really just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I don't know how others feel. I don't talk about it a lot. I'm getting older and more comfortable about talking about, you know, death or passing. And I'm grateful and thankful and blessed that I didn't have a lot of death as a young woman to deal with, because I think I'm much more equipped now to deal with someone passing or something happening in life that can be life-changing. And, you know, a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And, you know, one of the things that really resonates with me, I have a cousin whose husband passed away of cancer and um, a few years back. And I really thought a lot about that. And I thought a lot about, you know, all of the young widows of today. And so I think the word widow is, um, not something when you think about, at least for me, that I think of a younger person, I think of an older person that's a widow, whether it's female or male, that they're aged and that they've lost their spouse due to just, you know, life. And I've run across so many young females that are young widows of today um, all around me. And people just, I have through connection of work um, that I see, you know, they're passing. And so there are, there is um, not a club because that doesn't sound appropriate, but a, a group or a community that called the young widow. And, you know, I really encourage anybody going through that to, to seek those people in that community, because the thing that resonates with me the most about all of this is that, um, 
you don't know what someone's going through really until you walk it yourself. And so for me, if I know someone that has had someone very near and dear to them pass, or, you know, that they're not no, no longer in their life, that, that it was, it was the impact that that person had on you. And it was, you know, why, why did that happen? Their time here on earth was served and they, they accomplished what, what they were meant to accomplish while they were here in that being. And so, you know, I encourage anybody going through situations and scenarios like that to reach out. Um, there are people um, that are experiencing the same things as you. And the thing that I want to really speak the most on is that you're not alone and so you know opening up and sharing some of your most vulnerable um interactions or experiences or you know things that happen in life can be really uh, terrifying honestly and can be scary but there are there are resources out there and there are there is a community and i just really want you to reflect on um the fact that you know that person was in your life for a reason and it, even if it was for a season or a lifetime that they had meaning and they had an impact and you know it, it can and does make a big difference in your life and so whether you have a best friend that you've had since childhood and you no longer talk anymore or you have someone that you've worked with for 15 years and they leave you know and work elsewhere or you have friends that have been in your network in your community um i have a work best friend um she's still one of my great friends and best friends but we don't work together anymore and so those things are going to happen in your life and i think that as you cross and interact and encounter those opportunities in life to, I just encourage you to reflect on them and think about the impact that they had on you. And so, you know, one of the beautiful things about my stepmom was that, you know, she was, I, I was five years old when she came into my life. And so I had her for 45 years in my life. And not always were those opportunities or experiences or exchanges or interactions uh, positive. They were challenging. I became a young adult and a teenager and um, really felt like I, probably knew better, like all teenagers do. We know everything, right? Um, our parents don't know anything. And, um, you know, I think that the beauty of her and I's relationship is, you know, over the last probably, I want to say 10 years or so, maybe 15, that we were really able to communicate really openly and the visits that I did get to make home and see her and my dad, her and I were able to have really great conversations. And even up to, you know, before her passing, I was able to really say the things that were on my heart and in my soul that I wanted her to know. And so you find solace in that. And so I encourage you, if you have people that have come into your life and are leaving or going or moving on or experiencing an adventure to, to cheer them on and to empower them and elevate them. And then also, you know, in passing to really reflect on um, the impact that they have on you because it will bring you some joy and some closure to any of that kind of weirdness that you might feel when people are in your life for a season and gone. You know, and I think there's a lot to be said with when you look back over childhood and friends. I have friends that I've had for, I'm blessed to have friends that I've had for more than 30 years, 40 years, and still I'm connected with them on socials. And, you know, a couple of them, I cannot talk to them for six months or a year and pick up the phone. And it's like no time passed, you know, that we're still uh, can pick up where we last left off. And I think those are really beautiful relationships um, and not all of us get to have them. And one of the things my dad always said, and I always used to laugh about it, but he used to always tell me that, you know, if you had more, if you could count your friends on more than one hand, you didn't have any. And I really find that to be true as I've gotten older, you know, when I was younger, I was like, oh, I have a lot of friends. It's fine. Um, and a lot of people are friends. We're connected, but they're really acquaintances. And so there are a few select people that I know I could call um, anytime, day or night, no matter what, if I needed them and they would be there. And I want to be that for others as well. And I think, you know, those friends, we reciprocal. Um, in those, those relationships and they know they can reach out to me. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up and I just wanted to chat with you guys about seasons and people coming and going into your life and out of your life and those experiences and really just encourage you to reflect. A lot of people don't take time to sit and reflect on the things that happen in your life. And I'm very uh, much a self-reflector. And so I encourage you to think about seasons of life with people and that people are going to come into your life for a day, a moment, um, and sometimes a lifetime and hopefully a lifetime. And um, just really think about the impact that they have on you and that you have on them. And then that will help you really work through some of those feelings you may have where those relationships have kind of fallen off or to the side. And so you can recognize the importance of those and maintaining those friendships and allegiances and 
and that community that you've built for yourself. So I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for listening. As always, if there's a topic you'd love to talk to me about, shoot me a message. I would love to hear from you. If there is a guest out there or an entrepreneur that wants to hop on the show and talk about whatever, you know, I'm game. I love um, finding out new artistry, new uh, businesses, new ventures, new experiences, all of those things. We do have some exciting guests coming up in the coming weeks. So I'm excited about that. Um, And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week and take care. Thanks. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please hit like and subscribe.